Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to my very first Pokemon Go uh, video. Now, today, uh, it could be successful, it could be not. Um, I really wanted to go out and record some raids uh, with the camera, um, but it was actually Pride in Norris today. Now, I did manage to get quite a few good raids in, uh, a couple of Registeels, a couple of Alone and Raijus. However, uh, I, I tried recording a couple, um, but you couldn't hear me. Uh, there wasn't much going on other than loud screaming and uh, like music and stuff in the background of all the guys who were cheering and whooping in the parade. But the parade itself was really cool, which was nice, and I have got a little clip which I will uh, I'll put in somewhere. Um, it was like some drag queen guy at the capital dancing, it was quite funny, it was good to watch. So I'm glad everyone enjoyed themselves today. But, um, today what I've decided I want to do, um, for this video, is actually try and find a shiny Puchiena. Now, there is a nest, uh, park, which I'm just sitting down outside at the moment. I had to find some shade because it was really hot. Um, I had to get away from the cars because I'm next to a main road. Um, but I want to try and find a shiny, uh, shiny, shiny Puchiena. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but what I'll do in the meantime while I get to the park is uh, I will actually uh, look to ch chuck in some clips that I got from the city earlier, so from some raids that I've done um, for you guys to watch, and then once that's over I'll be in the park, and uh, you should, guys should hopefully be with me when I try and find a shiny Puchiena. So I'll see you in a second. Right then, as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see really, because um, it's people all around. <laughs> but we're walking uh, along the path here in the park, and on the screen you can see there's only one Puchiana. Um, so I'll click that before it goes off the screen, in case it's shiny. It's not, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few things in this park. I've never actually been here, but just from looking, um, there's quite a few pokey stops, which is cool. Um, there's also a gym. Already, so I don't take that down. Um, got the Puchiana, which is nice. Um, there was also a Murkrow. It's only what doing this walking and talking and catching and all that sort of stuff. Is click that magic up. It's not shiny. It's just a shame. Could really run from it. So I want to check this Murkrow. Nothing special either. It is weather boosted, so I might catch it actually to um, go with a Honchkrow. Uh, when I can eventually get one. Um, nothing else spawned at the moment though. So I'll come back in a second because there's actually a few other things I want to do while I'm here. I've also got a couple of uh, tasks complete which will give me some cool catches. Definitely want to get those on camera as well. So I'll be back in a second when I find something good.
Okay, so, um, just done a whole lap of the park. I found a total of four Puccina. Um, they're all kind of in the start, and I'll click on another one here. Not shiny, which is a shame. Um, but what I did do, I just recorded a bit of the park, as you can see, it's the first time I've seen it. Um, I've got some cyclists ahead of me, so gotta watch out for those while I try and catch this Puccina. Um, yeah, not as many Puccinas as I'd hoped. Uh, I've just gotta watch out. <laughs> you can see them as they go past. Um, but that Puccina wasn't shiny, as you can see. Not as, like, deaf by little kid. Um, but as you can see, like, Puccina is not the greatest thing ever in the world um, to even have. And I was wrong about the gyms, there's actually two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find somewhere to set up near that gym. Take it down because I've got a challenge to beat a gym. Um, and then what I can do is, oh, Magic Cup's still there. Um, what I can do afterwards is I can um, do some of the challenges that I need to do because I've got quite some, uh, a few interesting catches I can do. Uh, and then I've also got an evolution I want to do for my Pokedex, which I've held off for ages. So I was looking for a good EV, and I finally got a good EV today. And, uh, well, you'll see what it is in a second, uh, because the power of editing will allow me to do that. So I'll see you guys in a second, but I'm sat somewhere near the gym, so I can take it out, uh, and then we can do some cool catches. Right, okay guys, as you can see on the screen, um, we're here at the gym. It's just one single uh, Venusaur, so it should be quite easy to take down. Now, all I actually need to do is uh, win one battle. Um, I was really hoping there'd be somewhere to prop my camera up so it doesn't shake and so I don't go up and down. Um, but that isn't going to be the case. And I, what I really want to do is I really want to take on a Venusaur with a Charizard. It just feels like the most thing, thing to do. Um, it's my 100% Charizard. I got 100% Charmander maybe a couple of weeks ago. Um, I had to feed quite a bit of my rare candies into it sadly. I was trying to keep it for a good Mewtwo but apparently Mewtwo doesn't want to be good uh, for me which is a real shame. Um, but because Registeel's a thing at the moment, um, it's a shame Regice is gone. I didn't get this thing in time for Regice. Um, but Registeel's a thing. Charizard's really good at beating Registeel um, with the moves it, it gets. So uh, it's, it's kind of best that I do it now to at least get some use out of my Charizard while I still can because while Charizard's cool and all and obviously a fan favourite, bird go away, um, it's not like really the best thing in this game and I know I don't need to carry on battling it but I'm, I'm gonna keep on battling this gym anyway because um, I might as well put something here. Like, this is the first time I've ever been to this park. Um, quite a nice park to be honest, there's like a little boat lake. Um, I don't know if you could really see from the video I put uh, just earlier on in the video. But there's like some kind of mini carnival thing. I say mini carnival, I mean there's like one merry-go-round that's currently been set up in the middle of the park but it's really nice like I've never been here before but I didn't I didn't video it because there was loads of kids um, I don't want to be taken the wrong way um, but there is like a, a fun water feature I guess you could say is what it is um, I don't actually know if it's you're allowed to use it at the moment because I don't know if there's a hose pipe down in the UK at the moment obviously we've been, been in that mad heat wave that Europe's been in um, so I don't know if the water's been turned off for that or something but there's like water fountains everywhere that the kids can run through and sand pits and stuff and I'm like if I'd known that was there earlier screw the kids I would have been playing in that uh, water feature all day every day because it's been so unbearably hot it was like 34 degrees here in my city yesterday it's, it was just mad um, but there you go you can see me just taking the Venusaur down which is cool so the gym is now empty um, so there's now free for me to stick something in there now I, I did actually get a snorlax actually knocked off a gym uh, a bit earlier so what I'll do is I need to, where's my max, I've just gone straight past my revives. Um, I'll quickly max revive a Snorlax and chuck him on here. Now this, this Snorlax is actually one I got from the Dominican, um, which is really cool. Um, it's a really bad IV. I did get a 98% one from the um, research challenges. Um, I just have like no Snorlax candy, so that's a shame. But uh, oh wait, my Poke, my, uh, Poke Plus already spun that Pokestop, so uh, can't get anything there. So what I do also want to do while I'm here then, uh, while I'm secluded away from everyone, uh, as you can see on the screen I've got three research tasks. I'll go from bottom to top because I know the top one is like the coolest. Um, I'll tell you what the challenges were as I go along. So this bottom one was um, battle in the gym, which is what we've just done. And no it wasn't, it's evolve a water type, I tell a lie. Um, obviously it gives you a squirtle and because squirtle was in community day you can get a shiny squirtle. 
Sadly, this one isn't. Um, did get the first ball though. Honestly, it's not the best idea, I don't think. Uh, like, it'll be 80 something. I think, yes, it's, it's not even a wonder, so it's not even 80%. Which is a shame. There is a, a truck. There. Sorry. nearly got run over by the cyclist for the second time. Sorry for the silence, like, there's a, tr <laughs> a truck going. Yeah, it's, it's an ice cream truck. I might see if he's available after this, because I am down for an ice cream. And then I almost got run over by a little kid on the bike for the second time today. Um, so that was the catch water type, uh, no, Evolve water type, sorry. Second one we're gonna click on is, I believe, gonna be Eevee, because it was Evolve, a water, fire, or electric type. Um, 415 is the highest EV, no, IV, sorry. Um, trying to break out there. I should catch it. I hope. I don't really know what else to say at this point. It's the, like I said, it's the first Go vlog I've ever done. So if it's terrible, leave me some feedback. I'm sorry if the camera works the poorest, but I'm not used to this type of thing. And you know, it's it's like you've got to take up. Oh no, sorry. Let me try and rephrase that. Speaking in public with a camera in front of your face, you can get some funny looks. And that's what I was kind of worried about there with the cyclist. Um, he was obviously too worried with his own little kid at this point. Um, so if I seem like a bit awkward, I'm hoping I'm not, because I'm quite comfortable talking in public. Talking, I mean, I talk loads of crap anyway, so it should be fine. Like, like now, it's a perfect example of me talking crap. Anyway, back to the game. The last thing I've got here is actually the first time I've ever got this challenge. It was hatch five eggs, and it's going to look really bad if I don't get it here. But I believe, I believe this should be a chancy. Um, so I'm going to click on it and hopefully it's a chance because I do need a good one. I don't know what max, there it is, 583, I don't know what the max um, CP is for like a perfect chancey. Um, I'm going to, I think I golden razzed it. I, I mean, they can't run away from you, so what I should probably be doing is I probably should be pin-upping it. My arm is really starting to ache. Um, Alright, caught it first go. So we'll see if there's any good or not, because I don't actually have a good, I have a blissey and I have a chancey, but they're both pretty bad. Um, yeah, like, this one is, is bad. It's got good HP, it's got good defences, but other than that, it's pretty bad. I'll do an IV check on it later, probably when I'm home. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll probably do another couple of laps of this park, see if I can find any more Poochiena, uh, and then after that, I'll probably make a walk home, because um, there's quite a nice scenic route. There's another park nearby, and uh, it's got, like, a walk by the river, and that'll take me home. So I might take a nice scenic route home and chuck some footage of that in on the way home. So sorry if this little segment's been a bit wavy, but I've been holding the camera up like close to my face for the last five minutes with my dodgy arm where I broke my collarbone. So that's my excuse if that's, uh, the segment's kind of been a bit iffy. But yeah, um, we'll see if we find anything else in the park. And if we do, I'll be making sure to let you guys know. So as you can see, this, this park's rather pretty, to be honest. I've never been here either. Um, I know this is where my mum and my stepdad used to bring my dog before we had to put her down early this year. So um, it's kind of sad that I'm here now and I never got to bring her here myself, but it's a really nice place. But more importantly, down to business is, um, as you can see on the screen, we've actually got a curlier raid. Now, I haven't actually caught a curlier yet. Um, I have enough to get a curlier, enough rolls and rolls candy. Um, it's just that I haven't had a good rolls. Um, I'd rather save the candy because they're quite rare um, in the attempts I can get a good Gardevoir or maybe even a Gallade. Um, so the fact that Curliers are in gyms is really nice. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this myself. I'm pretty confident I can do it myself. I don't imagine it's that hard. Um, I mean, I've got Agrons, so I've got two Agrons, one with Heavy Slam, one with something else. I don't know what. You know, I'm going to see if I can sit down. Oh, oh, standing up is a an effort, even though it's just, oh, it's just too hot, I don't know what it is today, it's not as hot as it was yesterday, that's for sure, but it's still ridiculously hot, um, so what I'll probably do is, I will, uh, I was going to say I'll cut, um, I 
can't, like, I'm just chilling here for 90 seconds until this raid starts. It's really annoying, really, that you have to wait this long. Niantic, hurry up and put a, a ready up feature in these gyms, please, because the amount of times I go to raids, especially on um, Zapdos and Articuno days, a ready up function would save so much time and would probably get you, like, an extra two or three, maybe even more, raids in. Um, and that'd be huge because obviously uh, I've been walking around the city all afternoon before I came off to do this video with some guys from Norwich, um, the Norwich Pokemon Go group, and they didn't manage to get any sort of shiny Zapdos whatsoever, um, which is a shame because I got two and I would offer to trade one, but I just don't have the Stardust to do it and we're not good friends, but I mean I only added one of them as a friend today, um, so I couldn't really trade it to them, which is a shame. Um, I did have an Articuno, but I only have one, so I haven't got one I can share. I've only just seen it's telling me to bring a Skarmory and my Reg Ice. You know what? I'm hoping it shouldn't get to that point anyway where I need to use those Pokemon. It should be quite easy to do it with what I've got here. Although, I'm not really sure why Tyranitar is first up because it is weak to Fairy. I'm hoping I'm talking loud enough, by the way. There's quite a few people in this park, so I'm trying not to draw attention to myself, despite that that guy just walking straight past me. I don't know if he gave me a funny look, I kind of hope he did, it would make the video a bit funnier. Right, so here you go, we can see we've got the Curlia um, here. Let's see, I mean, I'm smack down Stone Edge, so we should be doing some good damage to this thing. I mean, I would imagine this is very easy to solo raid. It's level 2, if people can solo raid, um, I'll let him write you. I mean, you can do register with three people, apparently. It's been done with, um, I was talking to a guy earlier, with three level 40s, um, just spamming fire types. It's probably like Stone Edge, you know, do some good damage. Um, okay, Tarantai is just screwing this curly rover. I don't see this being an issue whatsoever. Probably should have just gone straight in with, um, Agron, because I, I'm sure that probably would have been a bit quicker and easier. But never mind, this Curlia really can't do too much. I haven't seen it. It's got Shadow Sneak as its charge move. That's terrible. I hope there's something better than that one, if I catch it, that is. I'd say if. It's probably a when. I'll try and pin up it, to be honest, because if that's 10 candies, that would be pretty nice, because I think I only have, like, 30 rocks candy. So I haven't even got enough for a uh, Gardevoir or Gallade, anyway. I have no idea what the max CP is. Um, it's windy, so this might actually be weather boosted as well, which would be really nice. Um, obviously, it just gives it a higher natural CP. I've got a bit of grass stuck in my shoe, it's just blown up, and it's. Oh, I haven't been clicking Stone Edge. Um, that's making my foot really itchy. Cool, so we beat that earlier really easy. I mean, I wasn't down for a second that it wouldn't be easy. I was more doubting the fact whether Tyranitar could do it, but Tyranitar did it. So let's see if we get anything good. Um, I don't want Raspberry's got one rare candy, I'll take that. Super Potion. Stardust and down, I was meant to put a lucky egg down. I'm an idiot because this is a new catch as well, so never mind. It's a red gym, so we don't get any bonus balls or anything for that. 574 CP, is that it? I'm hoping it's good. Um, oh, wow, red. Oh, that's a great. I'll tell you what, considering I'm holding a camera, I'm trying to talk, and for a great ball. Oh, okay, that was easy. It was red, so I thought it'd be hard to catch. Um, but we pin up it, so that's 10 curlier candy, and as you can see. One for the dex, uh, which is nice, and I'll finally have it. Is it male or female? It's male, so if it's some good, it's good. I might want to consider keeping it for Gallade. Uh, let's have a look. Oh. I mean, it's best size attack. Not that it matters in this game, because there's no special or physical split, but kind of nice that I got that earlier. One for the dex, uh, which isn't quite common for it anymore, because obviously there's so many Pokemon in this game, and I've caught so many, it's been out for a while. So yeah, um, I'm now going to walk along the river, see if there's anything else I can catch nice, but I'll probably meet you guys at home. So I, I can, well, close this video up, I guess. I don't think you guys understand how much I really, really want to jump in here. Jesus Christ. I didn't even realise what the hell is going on here. Look at all these, <laughs> all these ducks and geese and whatnot. They're, they're not even flinching. That's wild. Geese. Uh, I'm trying to think of a pun. I can't really think of one. That's cool. Oh. No, they're not, they're not honking back. Bastards. And of course I picked the absolute worst way to get out of this park. <laughs> I know it's all uphill, but I've picked the stairs. Oh, this is gruelling. 
that's one out of three layers done. Come on, I can do this. It's good exercise. Oh man. I know I just said it's good exercise. I am so unfit. I'm hoping it cools down a bit for tomorrow. Because I have got a football game. Oh, made it. I am totally unfit. I hope Kristen sees this and just like says how unfit I am. Cool work. I'll definitely come back here. You know what? I literally live, I don't know, 30 meters down the pathway and I've never been on this path and it's really quite pretty. Like a little bridge over there. I remember when I first moved here, which I think was October 2016, um, this was a Dratini, or well, not a Dratini nest. There were certainly a lot of Dratini spawns and I kind of regret not catching more of them because I could have had a Dratini really early on in the game. Um, I think it took me quite a while in the end. Uh, but yeah, uh, quite a nice little pathway, hidden. Didn't even know it existed. Um, what we're now about to see is, I don't know what it, is it a sluice? Is that what it's called? I don't know, I haven't got my phone in my hand anymore. But it's a poker stop. And it's really frustrating because these houses here, the other side of those, is my house. And I'm just out of range of the poker stop, which is really frustrating. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't really want to show you where I live. I don't know if you guys are stalking me, but it's been quite pretty. And then, and you got this. This building with, I don't know, this contraption. Whatever that is. So I am home. And it appears my crippled brother has somehow legged it. Don't quite understand how that's happened. Yeah, never mind. Right guys, so we're pretty much at the end of my Go vlog, my very first one. Hopefully it's been good. Um, I just wanted to show you something quickly. I don't actually know if I can do all these now. It'd be kind of cool if I can. Um, I, <laughs> I spun some poker stops uh, at the park um, where I got the uh, Curlia raid and I spun a couple on the way back. Didn't didn't think to look um, because obviously I emptied out all my challenges when I did it earlier at the gym. Um, and by chance, somehow, wow, thank you, I, Poke Plus went off. Um, I'll hold that so it doesn't vibrate anymore. Um, you can see on my screen that I got three Evolver Fire type Pokemon. So that's three Charmanders, uh, three potential Shinies. I don't know. I need to heal my Tyrantar up. If I have enough, um, like, candies to evolve any of my fire types, um, you can see them on my screen here. I mean, I might be able to evolve. I can evolve a Growlithe. But I do quite like having my Growlithe candy. Um, Slugma? No, can't afford to evolve that. Can't afford to evolve Vulpix. Numble? Uh, I need six more for Numble. Uh, this, is, this is looking desperate. Can't do Hound Hour, Magby. I could evolve my Magby. Not sure I want to do that because uh, I mean I could do a Ponyta actually. Yeah, let's evolve my Ponyta into Rapidash. Um, I I don't know what else. Oh no, wait! I only have to evolve one. Of course, I was being stupid. I was thinking I had to evolve three different fire types. Um, you've probably just been sitting there like Jack, you're an idiot. Um, so I've evolved my Ponyta into a Rapidash. Hopefully we can get. I I missed the Charmander uh, event day. So I'm hoping, um, I mean, that Rapidash can go straight in the bin. I don't need that anymore. Um, I hope I, I don't actually know if I have any Ponytail left. So, um, yeah, we had those three catcher fire types. Um, this is really good because I do need Charmander candy. Um, let's see if I can find a shiny one. Three, four, one. I think that's pretty decent. I know three, five, six is 100%. I don't care if I don't get 100% because, like I said, I've already got 100% uh, Charizard. Uh, oh, look at that. Boom. Excellent throw. One for the camera. Um, my excellent throw game used to be pretty poor, but then, like, over the last few weeks when I've been playing Go, like, ever since, I don't know, like, a couple weeks before the Squirtle uh, Community Day, um, I was, like, very much a casual at this game. But uh, every weekend, sort of, sim went up in, since, went up in free. 
I've gone out into the city. I, I live in the city centre. It's like heaven for Pokemon Go. Three, four, four. We, we're going up. No shiny. Oh no, I don't want golden rose. No shiny Charmander yet. I mean, I think the odds are still pretty high. But could you imagine if we got a shiny Charmander? To, oh, okay. To end things off, that was a bad throw. Uh, come on, mate. Stop attacking. Stop attacking. Is it going to be an excellent? That's nothing. I don't even, like, I can't see what the difference was between that throw and the the one before I had to catch it. But regardless, I caught it. it I think I hope I pineapped it. Because um, I do need those Charmander candy, as I said. It's a wonder. HP and defense. Certainly impressed. So, that's like a, oh, I don't know, that must be like a 14, 13, 14, that one or something. Um, so, we've got one Charmander left to get. Let's see if it's going to be shiny. It's not. 3, 4, 5. So it went up each time. So th they're all pretty good Charmanders, to be honest. Um, but like I said, don't need them. Can I get an excellent throw? I got a great. I should catch it. No shiny Charmander, which is uh, is a shame. But I I wasn't too hopeful, to be honest. I don't know what the shiny rate is on the things. Like, I don't know if it's any different to the raid bosses. Because um, obviously, I remember seeing... Who was it? I don't know. I saw a, a video. Uh, nice attack. Not bad. Um, however, you can go in the grinder yeah you can go in the grinder um i saw a video where someone got a shiny absol i can't remember who i think it might be mystic seven um so i don't know if they like the chances are any different or not um but yeah guys that's pretty much it for my first pokemon go vlog hopefully it was okay um there i go i was literally about to say i know i've said um a lot i'm still getting used to the vlogging type of thing um but I, yeah, I need to stop that i really need to stop that i'm like a football manager um Right, I don't know what I'm going to do now. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Sorry if the camera work's been shaky. Sorry if the quality isn't the best. You know, I can't invest a huge amount of money into this camera. But I got quite a, you know, I've had a really good day and go. I've got two new Pokedex entries. Didn't quite get a Charmander, uh, shiny Charmander at the end there. But caught loads of those. Powered up my level, uh, my 100 IV Charizard. Caught a nice Chansey. Found a few Puchiana. I just wobbled the camera because it wobbled my desk. Um, didn't find any shinies. Like, I only found five Puchiana in like the half an hour I was at the park. Which is a bit depressing because it's meant to be a... A nest, so I thought there'd be more than that, but never mind. Um, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, uh, comment what you think. Um, I'll try and get another vlog up soon. Hopefully, I'll try and get one up a week because um, I only really get to go out and play Go sort of either in the evenings or weekends. Um, and I know in August, every weekend, I'm pretty much booked up. Um, next one, like, I'm thinking the next thing might be EV Day, EV Community Day, either the Saturday or the Sunday, or both. We'll see. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you've stuck out through this whole thing um, because editing this, recording this, uh, you know, playing this is all like new to me. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.